Welcome back. Since 1936, the Victoria Foundation has been connecting people who care with causes that matter. Now the foundation has been chosen to manage the remarkable legacy of the Sisters of St. Anne, who are celebrating 160 years in Victoria. Veronica Cooper explains. The Sisters of St. Anne were founded in 1850 in Vaudreuil, Quebec by a woman named Esther Blondin, now known as Blessed Marie-Anne Blondin, who was determined to educate children in rural Quebec. In 1858, four sisters left the school Blondin had founded to open a small schoolhouse in Victoria, which grew into St. Anne's Academy. Now working in many parts of the world and celebrating 160 years in Victoria, the congregation of the Sisters of St. Anne has established Esther's Dream Fund to distribute funds to each region, such as Victoria, but, we in North America are continuing to become fewer and fewer and older and older <laughs> and we realized that we could no longer carry on with the administration of that fund. And so a partnership was formed with the Victoria Foundation, founded in 1936. Over now 82 years we've been creating permanent income producing funds that grant out every year to local charities, charities in British Columbia and across Canada. We wanted an organization whose values linked with ours. The Victoria Foundation will now oversee Esther's Dream Fund, supporting organizations including the Mustard Seed and Anawim House, helping Victoria's less fortunate. And the Listening Post, which is a place for quiet, sacred reflection in Vancouver's downtown east side. Also Providence Farm in Duncan, a therapeutic community for those with mental health challenges. Good girl. On the same property at Providence Farm is the Couch and Therapeutic Riding Association. Uh, <laughs> I love you so much. The history is breathtaking in lots of ways and for us uh, at this point we were very proud of the sisters who went before us and we want to continue to live with the same spirit, the same values uh, that the sisters who went before us had. And allow Esther Blondin's vision from 1850 to live on through Esther's Dream Fund, a legacy now managed by the Victoria Foundation. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.